Hi everyone. Uh, welcome to week four. It's hard to believe we're already halfway through the summer session. Um, this is your beginning of the week video. Um, just me kind of talking about what's coming up and highlighting some of the things that are important to remember about this week. Um, to start off with uh, assignments, I should have your museum exhibit assignments for you graded either later today or tomorrow morning so that you will have my comments to read and look through. Um, as far as the assignment for this week, the artist statement, that should go up by 5 p.m. today. So just to remind everybody of that due date. Um, this week, we're going to be talking primarily about DC art and DC artists. I did put up a reading from the New York Times about Amy Sherald which probably fit in better with some of the things that we were talking about last week with women and images and art. Um, but I forgot to post it, and it's an article that I really like. It also talks about one of my favorite artists, Lorna Simpson. So I thought I would put it up so that people could read it. Um, I also put up an optional reading about Lorna Simpson in case you read the New York Times article and get interested in her work. Um, you have that option to read that longer essay about her. Um, the rest of the readings for the week, though, deal with DC art scene, DC artists. Um, we have a recording that I'm going to have the um, IT people post from a local living artist. Um, she was kind enough to record herself talking about her art and answering a few questions about women in art. Um, she didn't feel comfortable talking off the cuff to the class, so she wanted to record it. So I've given that recording to IT, and they are going to post it for us. So that should be up soon. Um, so that's exciting. There's some good um, information about the art scene in DC for you to look at for this week. Um, as far as other things that are coming up this week, um, we are going to start working on our thematic exhibit. And you can find the assignment sheet. You should be able to find the assignment sheet posted to Blackboard in the next hour or two. But essentially, this is an exhibit that you're going to be constructing um, based around a certain theme. And you're going to be picking from six to eight women artists that fit in with that theme. And so you'll be responsible for writing the front matter um, for the exhibit and then the museum, the exhibition labels for the pieces that you've picked. So there's a couple different steps to this assignment. Um, the first one is just a one-on-one -on -one conference with me this week. Um, nothing lengthy. It's about 10 minutes long, um, just to check in and kind of see what ideas you might have for this assignment. Um, so we'll be doing that this week. And there's a sign-up sheet on Blackboard. Um, I didn't want to put people into, per, uh, into certain spots. I thought it might be better if you guys signed up on your own. Um, if you can't find a slot that works with your schedule, just email me and we'll figure something out. Um, some people wanted to conference Wednesday night because of Thursday during the day obligation, so I kind of split you into two, some people going Wednesday night, some people going Thursday, but again, you can pick your particular time slot. And then I also posted um, the group conferences for week five. Those will be conferences where we review one another's exhibit assignments. Um, if you have a problem with your day or time, let me know and we can do some shuffling. Um, I've also assigned the presentation slots for everyone during week six. So if you're not scheduled, get in touch with me. Or if you have a conflict with when you're scheduled, let me know that as well. I just wanted to get all those days and times out there for you so that you could kind of plan accordingly. Um, so we'll be checking in this week about the museum exhibit. You'll be doing group conferencing about the museum exhibit next week. And then you'll pre be presenting your final project to everybody during week six, um, which is our last week of class. So that's what's going on with the museum exhibit assignment. Um, the other thing I posted was a short midterm evaluation of a couple questions about how the class has been going. Um, I, as you know, we're all kind of struggling with this online learning thing. I'd like to know more about, from your perspective, what works well or what doesn't. Um, also, in general, just feedback about the class, um, um, just things that I could do differently or better or things that you like. Um, I always like to get input, uh, input from my 
current class because if I end up teaching another class around the same theme, um, I like to try to integrate those comments from the class into my new um, course and try to try to make things better as I go along. Uh, let's see what else. I think that pretty much covers it. Um, this week's discussion board is about sense of place in art. So how do you see, um, you know, the place where someone grew up or the place where somebody's working, influencing their art? So we're going to explore that a little bit. Um, last week's discussion board went well. I think people were getting more of a hang of responding to one another, feeling less inclined to having to respond to the question that I posted, but trying to make it more of a conversation. So I appreciated that. And I would like you to continue to do that um, this week as you talk about place and art and DC. Um, and feel free to talk about any of the artists that we've discussed so far this semester um, with that discussion board. Any questions, any concerns, just email me. But I think that should cover it for week four. And, oh, I know the other thing. Um, Thursday, 1 to 2, we're going to have the Smithsonian Art Museum come and talk about Alma Thomas. Um, so that's very exciting because uh, that connects, too, with DC artists. And they're going to give us some information on her, and you'll be able to answer questions. So, again, that's a synchronous session on Thursday, 1 to 2. Okay, that's it. All right. Talk to you later.